Hello, welcome to In the Studio. I'm your host, Martha Teeter, and today we'll be talking about YOLO Community Care Continuum, some more about it. There's been another episode on that. And today I have guests Debbie Woodsford, who's the Director of Development for uh, YCCC, and Roger Pelkey, who's a board member. Welcome to In the Studio. Thank you. Uh, and the reason we're talking today, there, there was a previous um, In the Studio show uh, on YOLO Community Care Continuum is that there is a fundraiser that comes up in the fall and there'll be one coming up soon. We're going to talk about that. And we're going to be talking about uh, the board and uh, what the board does, why be on the board, and uh, some of the exciting ideas you have for the uh, board development. Yes. So welcome. Okay. Thank you. So, First, I wanted, as I said, to mention that there was a previous show, and in this uh, previous show on YOLO Community Care Continuum, this is a brochure that um, the YOLO Community Care Continuum puts out, and one of the nice things about it, it has a picture of the farm, which was part of the program that was talked about, but um, only one part of it, uh, the crisis a residential treatment unit. Um, so I wanted to hear from Roger about your experience on the board. How did you come to be on the board of YOLO Community Care Continuum? And what are some things you'd like to see? Sure. Well, th thank you for inviting me today. Um, I've been on the board for a couple of years. YOLO Community Care Continuum deals with people with mental illness who have no discernible source of income. And the reason I'm on the board is that they are an organization that has a very clear message. They've got a record, a track record of achievement since 1979. Wow. Um, they put together programs that have meaningful results, and uh, I'm just a real supporter. Hmm. Great. Um, one thing that's interesting about the title, which is, is a mouthful to say, YOLO <laughs> Community Care Continuum. Yeah. Uh, one way to look at this is if you focus on the word continuum, um, there are kind of three different meanings to this. In recent uh, psychiatric terms with the, uh, the, um, the DSM manual, which is the evaluation and diagnostic manual that the psychiatrists use, mm -hmm. there's been a movement away from black and white type of diagnoses toward being on a continuum, sl sliding mm -hmm. between... Um, mood disorders to thinking disorders and so on. So there's a continuum from a medical aspect. It's also a continuum in terms of continuity of services. YCCC has, over the years, been able to work very much in concert with the county mental health office, with service providers, the hospitals, mm -hmm. law enforcement, and so on. And then a third meaning is uh, probably the most important is con continuity or a continuum for the clients themselves who uh, mental illness is very, it, it interrupts one's life. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the community that YCCC creates for these folks allows them to have a continu continuation of their uh, lifestyle and meaningful activity, relationships, and so mm -hmm. on. So they really do fine work. Wow, yeah, and I, that's quite a long time that they've been in the community. I think a lot of yeah, people haven't years. heard about them, and so this is a great occasion to, to make it more known. Um, was there a, um, any personal reason yourself why this particular organization interests sure. you? Sure, well, I, I do have a family member with a mental illness, mm -hmm. so uh, that person has experienced... Um, both the short-term uh, intervention treatment, the crisis center at Safe okay. Harbor. So that's the Safe Harbor um, uh, facility. I believe there's a slide on the Safe Harbor oh, sure. um, uh -huh. facility, just a, a little picture of, a, of that, which is very inviting. And that's for a short-term crisis, like 
Yeah, we have several programs. Um, we have two short-term crisis intervention programs. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Safe Harbor is one here mm -hmm. in, uh, in Yolo, Yolo County. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, transitional housing, which is the farmhouse, which is what we were here to speak about uh, back in June. Right. And then um, we have um, five facilities that are permanent housing. Mm -hmm. So um, they can go there, they can still get some of the services mm -hmm. that they need, but they're basically living independent on their own. Mm -hmm. So yeah. literally they're in the community. Literally, <laughs> yes. <laughs> they have yes. their exactly. community there, but they're really in the community. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There. Yeah. 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 Great. And I so, guess that, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, so my, the, the, our family member has uh, been to the crisis intervention treatment mm -hmm. at uh, Safe Harbor mm -hmm. a number of times mm -hmm. because mental illness is cyclical. Mm -hmm. Folks get ill and they come back. Mm -hmm. uh, keeps them out of the jails and out of the hospitals. That's good. Um, also, more of the transitional housing program. So mm -hmm. this family member has been six months living in a transitional housing before getting back mm. uh, on his feet to have a job and oh, uh, wow. in his own apartment and so on. So it's really, uh, I mean, it saves lives. Mm. Mm. Yes, definitely, yes. Well, what I, I was uh, surprised by the statistic of how common mental illness is. Yeah, 46 million people. I have wow. been diagnosed with mental illness, so that's basically one in five people. One in five people. Mm -hmm. So if you have a family member of five, there's a <laughs> good chance that one of them may have yeah. issues. Yes, wow. very good chance. That's that's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, um, you uh, had some uh, ideas about the board or other things you wanted to invite people to. Well, well, one of the one of the, again one of the reasons that I joined the board is that I. Uh, I like to support organizations that have, a, as I mentioned, a track record and, and excellent programs, mm. but also um, where there's a need for some sort of outreach into the community where the community can influence um, the financial aspects of the... Mm. And uh, mm -hmm. as you mentioned, YCCC is not that well known. Yeah. So we are, we are in the process now of building our base, building our database of supporters, uh, okay. Expanding uh, the sponsorship opportunities, and we're act we're always actively looking for board members. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so sponsorship opportunities that could be hot what? Uh, well, you know, it could be any one of a number of things. Um, we do have the two events that we do each year, but um, our program still needs support as well. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, it. it takes a, a whole slew of services yeah. to provide to the folks that are in any of our facilities. So, yeah. um, And as one can understand in this climate, uh, any kind of federal funding goes up and down. So to have a base is really very helpful, very important. So there, I guess there's some um, opportunities for sponsorship with the event coming up that's an annual event uh, this um, uh, fall. Yes, uh, so yeah, on October 6th of this year, we will be so hosting- So we, we have a little slide on that. We will be hosting our second annual, actually, um, gala dinner event. Uh, we will be okay. at the California Agricultural Museum. Okay. And uh, and where is that? It's in Woodland. In Woodland. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, it's just right off of I-5. Okay. And uh, this year we are very pleased to say that we are going to be honoring Dignity Health as a partner with uh, uh -huh. YCCC. Okay. Uh, we have had a longtime partnership with them, and so they will be receiving our Daryl Steinberg Changemaker Award this year. Oh, great. And um, we're, yeah. we're very pleased about that. Yeah, so, and I guess uh, Daryl Steinberg was the speaker or recipient? Da yes, Daryl Steinberg, year. yes, was the inaugural recipient yeah. of our award. And uh, after he accepted the award last year, we let him know that going yeah. forward, the award would be called the Daryl Steinberg Changemaker Award. That's great. And he's a real innovator in Sacramento as mayor in both mental health and homelessness yes. issues. Yeah. Yes, he right. is. That's yes. great. Yeah. yeah. Well, tell me a little bit more about the event. So um, the itself. event, yeah, the event will um, will kick off at about five thirty uh, with okay. cocktails. Okay. And folks can choose to look at our uh, auction items that we have available, 
or they can choose to tour the museum. The museum will be oh, open to the guests that that's evening. That's great. Yeah so, yeah, so they can have a little bit of fun you know, okay. before dinner starts. Good. Uh, then Bob Dunning will emcee the evening for us. Oh, great. A good feature in uh, of Davis. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes, he is. Uh, and so he will, uh, you know, kind of take us through the evening. And the evening will uh, highlight the award. It will also highlight a couple mm -hmm. of client presentations. Oh, really? Yes. Now, so, what's, what's that like? Uh, well, we will have clients uh, from our programs mm -hmm. that will be there, and they will uh, present cardboard testimonies, yeah. which are basically um, one side of the cardboard will show kind of where they were at a low point in their lives. Mm -hmm. And once they got the help that they needed from, from YCCC, mm -hmm. where they're at now and, and how it's changed oh, for them. That's great. So, that's great. Uh, yeah. And I understand, is there a board member that's um, also uh, a client, a former client? Is that correct? Well, I, one of the, one of the um, things over the years that YCCC has always done is to include uh, people with a mental illness on the board. That's terrific. So, it, it, you know, n no better person than somebody who's lived through it to understand what the issues are. Really, really, mm -hmm. that's that's very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. great. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and so yeah, we will have a board member who is also a client mm -hmm. uh, speak at the event and oh. give us um, her story oh. on, on when she first was diagnosed and then how she received the help from uh, YCCC. And she's, she's basically been through most of the programs wow. that we offer. And, and she's living independently and that's doing great. very well. Wow, that's a very visible testimony to yes, the success, is. isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, and I guess there's some exciting uh, auction, live auction items. There are. So this year's uh, live auction, our feature is, this year is a six-day African safari. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, so you can see... Uh, Giraffes and uh, <laughs> yes, you can go out on a tour twice a day while you're there uh, for the six days. Wow! And um, you know, look at look at the wildlife that's out there, and possibly you know interact with some of it while you're at the facilities. So that's great. And you got some other trips too. We do have a couple of other trips. We have a San Francisco day trip. Okay. For folks, and then um, we also have a Disneyland trip. Okay, so great. And yeah. then how do people find out more about this or actually um, uh, sign up for the event or sponsorship? Sure. Well, the best way to find us is at our website, which is www.y3c.org. Okay. And uh, under events, they can open up that tab and you'll see an evening of inspiration. And then all the information regarding the event is on that page the uh, details about the African trip, okay. sponsorship details, ticket details, even volunteer opportunities, because it, it takes a, a lot of volunteers to make an evening like this yes. come off. That's great, great. So then um, on the website, you can actually click to buy your ticket then? Yes. And, or, or if you wanted to be, uh, and I guess you have some corporate sponsors too. We do have corporate sponsors this um, year. Davis Food Co-op okay. has, has sponsored Excellent. this year, which is yeah. very nice. Dignity Health is a sponsor. Mm -hmm. uh, Hospital Council of Northern and Central California oh. is a sponsor this year. And Sierra Health Foundation. That's so terrific. We're very thankful for those this year. That's great. Okay, great. Well, this is very exciting. So this... this uh, will happen every year, so we can look forward to another evening of inspiration and hope yes. next year and uh, really see what has, um, how this program has transformed people. I think that's very exciting. Yeah. It's, it's exciting to think of welcoming other people, also Davis people from onto the board, uh, as well as coming to this uh, event. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to thank you so much for uh, coming and speaking about this and telling our audience about uh, this program because it's a terrific program. And thank you for joining us today on In the Studio. 